Hi, my name is Barb Nangle. I'm the founder of Higher Power Coaching and Consulting. I want to welcome you to my podcast, Fragmented to Whole, Life Lessons from 12-Step Recovery. This is episode 67, Why We Say the Truth Shall Set You Free. I've had a couple of experiences this week with the truth. One of them was in conversation with a sponsee. I honestly don't even remember what the issue was, but they were struggling with how to handle something. And in our conversation, what we came up with was that they really needed to tell the truth to the other person. And we both realized that we'd been kind of dancing around that as an option in our conversation. And then we realized that when we say the truth shall set you free. It only has meaning for people who have lied and who have withheld information. If you're someone who's told the truth your entire life and you've been open and honest with people your whole life, then you have no idea what it means to say the truth shall set you free. And if you're someone who is still dishonest and still hiding and still withholding from people, you also have no idea what it means to say, the truth shall set you free. So if you're one of these people, like me, who is hiding your entire life, withholding information, lying to people, stretching the truth, telling little white lies, and people pleasing, like probably everyone in recovery, and you actually start to tell the real, honest to God truth to people, then you know what it means to say, the truth shall set you free. That freedom means you don't have to hide anymore. You don't have to have this fear looming that someone's gonna find out whatever the thing is you don't want them to find out. For the longest time, what I didn't want people to find out was that I had flaws. I didn't want people to know what I was really like. I somehow grew up with the notion that I wasn't supposed to be flawed. And if I was gonna be flawed, then I damn sure better hide it. Deep down, of course, I knew that I was flawed and I judged myself for that. And because because I judged myself so harshly, that meant I judged everybody around me harshly. Now, I understood on an intellectual level that it is perfectly normal and human to have flaws. But on an emotional level, I just did not get that. Coming to understand that on an emotional level helped me to be a lot more comfortable with allowing people to see my flaws, to see behind all of the different facades I had up. And the way I let them see behind those facades was to tell the truth, to say things like, I'm in pain. That hurt me. I don't wanna go there. Or I'm not sure what to say. The second experience this week that I had with the truth had to do with a difficulty with a friend. We were saddled with a situation that neither one of us has any idea how to navigate. We've never dealt with anything like this before, and especially not since we've been in recovery and trying to be people of dignity and grace and integrity. All we knew was that we have to tell the truth. We have to say things like, I'm going to ask you for something, knowing you may very well not be able to do it for me or may not want to do it for me, but I'm going to ask you anyway because it's what I really want. I'm going to tell you the truth about what's going on for me. What happened as a result of that conversation is that we never came to a conclusion. We decided we're both going to talk to our sponsors. And we're going to come back to each other and talk about what we learn from the new perspective that we get. Now, on my end, I prayed. I still continue to pray. 
I handed this situation over to my higher power and I actually put it in my God can because I'm really clear. I do not know what to do. The ability to say, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this is the truth. And it's freed me from any nervousness. I know to the core of my being, something's going to happen. There will be some resolution at some point in time. And I also know that it's not going to be because I figured something out. It's going to be because I told the truth and I allowed my higher power to come in. This reminds me of a conversation I had with my brother, Pat. He died in 2006, so this was way before recovery. He said to me, if you don't want to know the truth, it means you don't want to know God, because God is the truth. May the truth set you free. That's it for today. If you like what you've heard here, then you just might be interested in private coaching with me. If that sounds like you, head on over to my website, which is higherpowercoachingandconsulting.com and click on the contact menu. I'd be happy to schedule a consultation with you to help you make lasting changes in your life like I've made deep lasting changes in my life. My ideal client is someone who is ripe for change, but I'll coach anyone who wants to be happy, joyous, and free. So if that's you, shoot me an email. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can be sure to get future episodes of my podcast. Thanks again.